first off, who is this video for? Every f***ing person in the United States. For real. Watch this video and even you little savvy citizen rascals might actually know your rights for once. What is a case law? It's basically a law that is created by the outcome of other cases. For example, a cop does something that the state says is lawful. The defense says, nah. -uh. Then the Supreme Court says, hey, that actually was lawful. So the next time a cop does that same thing, it's lawful. Because the highest court in the United States said so. Most case laws are named after the state that the incident took place in versus the person who committed the crime, who was arrested, searched, shot, etc. Let's do it! Pennsylvania versus Mims, my favorite, primarily because I am Pennsylvania versus Mims. The case law says an officer on a traffic stop can order the driver out of the car at any time and pat them down for weapons. Maryland versus Wilson, same thing as Penn versus Mims, but with passengers. That's right, kids. A police officer can even order you out of the car if you're riding in it. Brindlin versus California. This is the opposite of the last case law we looked at, where Maryland versus Wilson allows an officer to order passengers out of the car. Brindlin versus California allows the officer to keep the passengers in the car. Those passengers are considered seized and cannot leave without permission once a vehicle is lawfully stopped. Tennessee versus Garner. A police officer may use deadly force to prevent the escape of a fleeing suspect only if the officer has a good faith belief that the suspect poses a significant threat of death or serious physical injury to the officer or others. I did a whole video on this one case law. You can check that out right here. Chimmel, Chimel, Chimel, Chimel versus California. This one gave police officers a nifty little tool called search incident to arrest, meaning that if you arrest someone, you can perform a warrantless search on their person and the area within the arrested person's control. This is anywhere they could have grabbed a weapon or destroyed evidence meaning the entire cab of a car or the couch that they were sitting on. Most of the time, you need a warrant to go further than that. Terry v. Ohio. This is the one where stop and frisks, also known as Terry frisks, come from. This one states that a police officer can perform a pat down, not a search, on a person they believe has committed, is committing, or is about to commit a crime and has reasonable belief that the person may be armed and presently dangerous. <laughs> Minnesota versus Dickerson. This one says that when you're doing a pat down on someone for weapons, but you feel other contraband like drugs on them, and you have enough reasonable suspicion to believe that it is actually drugs, like being in a drug heavy area, you can make a warrantless seizure on the contraband. Illinois versus Wardlaw. Unprovoked flight or evasive behavior by someone from an identifiable police officer, as well as being in a high crime area, provide enough reasonable suspicion for a Terry stop. So if you roll up in a marked car to someone, they take off running, and you're in a high crime area, you can stop them. Graham versus Connor. This is a super important one in any arrest, search, use of force, anything that has to do with policing. This is the case that objective reasonableness comes from. That means that in a court of law, everyone should look at what happened from the officer's perspective. Did they use a reasonable amount of force given what was in front of them? Florida versus JL. You cannot search someone based solely off of anonymous tip. Maryland versus King. This is kind of like search incident to arrest, but with body parts. Stuff like DNA swap fingerprints, and photographs of the arrested person can be taken without a warrant. Map versus Ohio. If you obtain evidence illegally, like through a search that is unlawful, that evidence can't be used in court. This is also known as fruit of the poisonous tree. You got all this delicious fruit, but you can't use that shit because it's poisonous now. Hren versus U.S. Any traffic violation committed by a driver is a legitimate legal basis for a traffic stop. Sorry all my savvy boys out there, you can be pulled over for committing traffic violations violations. Hebel versus Nevada. 24 states in the U.S. have laws in place that require people to tell police their names if the police have reasonable suspicion that person has committed a crime. Can you tell me your name? Suck. Keebel versus Nevada says that these state laws are not violating anyone's Fourth Amendment rights against self-incrimination. Criminal justice classes usually suck, especially when you're learning about stuff like this, so you should probably just watch more of my videos. You should tell your professors to watch my videos. You should tell them to show them in class. If you want to help support this channel, you can do so by going to donutoperator.com, becoming one of my Patreons, or just, you know, just hanging out. Watch my videos. Turn that ad blocker off. Turn those notifications on, that little bell guy. Everyone, please have a fantastic day. Yeah.